Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of Wonderful Pretty Cures. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. No. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Yeah, but what if that goes away, Komogi? How are you gonna get food, baby? <laughs> See? Oh, honey. <laughs> you, you know what? If, if my dog Cody was an actual human and he got upset and he ran away from home, he'd probably end up doing the same thing too, crying. And the next thing you know, I get a call from somebody be like, hey, I found someone by the name of Cody. He's over here crying, and I just feel like, okay, thank you, I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> the dog cannot, we, we know, because my mom and I have had conversations about Cody. I was like, if Cody ever ran away home, Cody would not last. Cody, Cody is our, our real life courage, the cowardly dog, but that is okay. I love him because he's my baby. No matter what, I love my puppy. <laughs> Have you seen Komogi? Oh, that's cute. Well, you know, there are some dogs that have opposable thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency. Uh-huh. No, no, no. You're just... <laughs> Oh. 
Yeah, just a little bit. Just kind of on edge. No. Oh my god. The day that he talks to her. Oh my god, it's going to be so cute. complicated <laughs> oh Mm -hmm. Baby, she only lashed out because she's afraid of you getting hurt. She's your, you know, your mama on the way. Besides, you know, the fact is your other owner is possibly coming around. You got this. No. <laughs> you go by yourself. Only because she doesn't want you to get hurt. And she's scared. No, she doesn't, baby. Don't say that. You're always helpful. <laughs> right? Mm hmm. Hmm. She low. <laughs> You know, don't walk away. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be okay. You got just say something. Her. 
No, 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 it's sweet. Yeah. I mean, I was going to say use the bunny ears, but never mind.
Mm -hmm. Oh, no, oh my God. There we go. So yeah, basically it just works the same way. Okay. I'm not mad at it, but I was still expecting like certain animals will work with certain people, you know, just like with any other series, any of the series that we've seen in the past. <laughs> No. It looks so fucking cute. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs>
Bye. <laughs> it does make me wonder when we get our full group, first our four and then our six, what is that full, like, transformation pose going to look for all of them together? Because, you know, initially that's, like, the best thing that uh, pretty much all of us are waiting for. Okay. In a nutshell, do I think this fight was necessary between these two? Honestly, yes, because when you look at, like, any Magical Girl series in a nutshell, you always have a moment where the Magical Girl and the mascot end up having some sort of fight or argument, and then it just rips the friendship for, like, an episode or two until they finally make up. But for her, for Komoki to go and talk to Satoru of all people, because it makes the most sense, because, of course, duh, the relationship that he has with Iroha and stuff, like, of course, like, Komoki's gonna go for, like, any, like, advice and stuff. So I thought that was really cute. And then that's, oh my god, the bunny. The bunny bunny! The bunny. 10 out of 10. Even though he ain't, he ain't really speak the fact that Komogi spoke for him. It's 10 out of 10. Like, oh my god. But the day, the day the bunny gets to speak goodbye. I, I'm sorry. He's gonna be just like the cutest little heartthrob. Oh my god, it's gonna be so adorable. <laughs> that was the gif I saw like two hours ago being like what the heck is going on but okay now alright cause we know eventually Komogi is eventually going to go to school so I would say at least by episode 9 or 10 and of course the little meme of oh my god can the dog read and write is going to become true <laughs> like oh my god but no I'm really like this was a really good episode for Komogi, and especially her establishing the fact is, like, Iroha has done so much for so many people. She's even saved me and such, and so that's why it's, like, this is the reason why I want to do this with her, why I want to help her in the end, da 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 But it does make me wonder, as a, a, you know, let's go into the backstory of this once again. Um, we know Komogi's actual owner, is still out there once again. Are we possibly going to get an episode about that? Because we're only seven weeks about uh, officially as of next week, eight weeks into this show, and you're giving us information, like, especially on Komogi's past, like, fairly, really quickly. Sometimes with some of this, I would expect it at least by episodes 12 to, like, maybe 20-ish, and then, you know, adding with the final cures of the show and everything and such. But it, it is interesting that they're showing this very early on because I think they want this first half to be that big thing of who actually is Komogi's real first owner before Iroha and what he or she is going to do, obviously. Um, because of the fact is that is the big lingering question as of now. Now with the Garagaru and the person who was like in the shadows behind it, obviously, we're going to see that person, I'm guessing, later on. Because, of course, because I, I did talk about, I talked about this, like, a little bit yesterday with the Gushing Over Magical Girls um, episode where I was like, we're only going into, a, like, seven, eight weeks into this show. And, you know, we're going into the um, <laughs> catching the monster of the week instead of fighting the monster of the week, which is, you know, typical of going from Magical Girl shows where we're doing a hand-to-hand hand, hand care combat fighting to catching an animal every single week and so I feel like once they get all the kid animals and such that's when we're gonna go back into the fist hand-to-hand -hand combat fights with whoever the next like um not side character but like on a scale of like okay this is the big bad and everything it's single out and all that such I'm not 100% sure on that that's just a little guess but Especially with that person's uh, voice coming in behind, you know, the, the lion and such. 
it, it's kind of indicating that, yeah, that's where we're possibly going to go for. Maybe he's possibly the bit bad, but I don't really know. We just have to wait and see. But yeah, next week, the fact is that Mayu is transferring to Iroha's school and they get to hang out together and more. Um, it seems like next week might be a big old Mayu focused episode with a little bit of Komogi and Iroha. I'm not mad at that because I know we have to be getting closer to both, you know, Yuki and Mayu finally also becoming pretty curious because we are almost in the double digits and it, it's still been, you know, our two girls since day one, but it, it, it might, it might end up into four girls by the end of this. I don't know. And then it was also confirmed today that the movie is coming out in September. So, honestly excited about that, too. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of Wonderful Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or Sunday for episode 8. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.